as a person who's mostly lived outside India and especially as a man, how did you get into the mind of a young girl at 12 who gets married and learns how to cook and mango season and cooking with clay pots and you know how to make a good fish curry i mean how do you how did you get into that mindset of a young woman who's learning to become into her own yeah it's a tremendous question i think um first of all i had a great amount of help from my cousins and friends you know who were, who were helpful with those very mm -hmm. questions but i think i had as my model my my grandmother, who married at a very young age and, you know, came into this household and never left till she died. You know, that was her world. You know, I think too many novels are populated by women who as mothers are flawed or as mothers are evil or, you know. And I really wanted to pay tribute to the quiet heroism of these amachis, you know, who the world will never know about them. In their lifetime, their influence on their children to make them take advantage of opportunities they never had, the stability they bring, the faith they bring, the, the way they cobble this all together, you know. There's something so admirable about about that quality. And uh, so I knew that I wanted to describe that. And I, you know, talked to a lot of my, my mother, my aunts, my cousins mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. get at the nitty gritty of that experience. You know? I guess your mother's life didn't play as much of a part as your grandmother's did. Yeah, I think my mother was clearly outside of India for the great yeah. part, but she remembered so much about her childhood and could explain lots of details to me. But um, there's also an abundance of historical material that I was able to to search, both in the anthropology literature, but also in individual narratives and you know oral oral histories. There's just yeah. a richness out there, you know.